Hey guys, welcome to the show. This is uh, twitch.tv slash Blanca138. You can find me at. There's also a YouTube little podcast going on here. I'm uh, giving you some advice for the 2016 NCAA bracket. Bracketology. Um, first and foremost, I want to go over the South. I, I think I only have 10 minutes on, on YouTube here. So I'm going to go over the South real quick as fast as possible. Um, if you guys want advice for the first round, I'm going to go over the Colorado and Connecticut first because this is what everybody's been asking me about. Um, going over these two teams, Colorado is the eight seed, Connecticut is the ninth seed. I know everybody, uh, the user picks are 76% con- UConn, uh, which is fine because uh, UConn has been that team. Uh, that can upset you, and, and they always have they have a great program uh, over there. Uh, but I want to tell you that this year <laughs> is not that year, um, and people are getting fooled because these RPI rankings that the NCAA are putting out are absolute blasphemy. And I'll tell you why. I was looking up Connecticut, and uh, it seems that UConn was ranked 58th as an RPI, and UConn is in that. Um, that Atlantic Athletic Division that they moved to, and UConn sixth in that in that con- in that division, um, where Temple is first. So you can you can understand the difference between the the Temple and Connecticut teams. Uh, one's in sixth and one's in first. Now the RPI for Connecticut is 58, and the RPI for Temple is 59. So it makes me wonder what's going on here. Um, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, the only thing that could make sense is that. You know, points per game or defensive points per game or matchups, eh, you could have a higher RPI. It could be that the team just kind of um, missed out on one or two games uh, that could have went the other way or what have you. And that's fine. So they're saying the Temple and UConn are pretty much the same team at that close of an RPI. Now, what, if that doesn't make sense at all, this will really mess you up. Because the RPI rankings, that was for last week. Now, this week after the tournament, Connecticut had its tournament. They beat Temple, they beat Cincinnati, and they beat Tulsa. And uh, I'm sorry, and they beat Memphis. And Memphis was in the finals, and Memphis is underneath them. They're in seventh place in the division. So they beat a Memphis team in the finals. Before that, they beat Temple. Before that, they beat Cincinnati. Now, you would think that, okay, Connecticut did pretty good. Maybe, uh, but the RPIs didn't know that at the time. They still had Connecticut ranked one above Temple. Now, because Connecticut won these games, the new RPI rankings came out, and it turned out that Connecticut was now ranked 32. Now, how you jump from 58 to 32 is beyond me, because they beat teams that were 60 and lower, so or 59 and lower. Temple was 59. Now, Temple's new number this week is 60. They actually went down. So, I don't know. I don't know why UConn. Um, but please do not be fooled by this. Uh, all my advice and all my picks are going off the RPI rankings from last week. Again, I do believe in the RPI rankings, but something has to be corrupt here for them to be going up that many points in the rankings uh, by beating Memphis, uh, which is horrible. Cincinnati is fourth in the division and then beating Temple. So I'm going to go ahead and um, tell you that Connecticut's a sham. Now Colorado, this team, is in the Pac-12. And the Pac-12 is a very, very good um, division. Uh, there's no question about it. Their division, um, if we go ahead and look at the Pac-12, um, you can see that Oregon, Utah, Arizona, California, these are four teams that are in the top 25, uh, and Colorado is right underneath them. And even USC made, made the tournament at 9-9 nine and nine in the conference. So you can understand that this is a very, very good conference. The NCAA... Uh, is taking this conference very, very um, serious as far as strength of schedule is concerned. Whereas the um, Temple uh, American Atlantic isn't that much of a strength of schedule. Um, So I just want to get through to you guys that um, Colorado over Connecticut is the right thing to do, even though 24% of the people picked it. Uh, Again, I could always be wrong. It could always be, you know, NCAA is crazy. But I, I want you to understand that as far as betting is concerned as well, Connecticut is, is a, a three-point favorite. So uh, you might want to jump on the money line for Colorado on this one. And um, 
I just wanted to go over that. Another one in the south that was um, pretty on the fence about um, is this Arizona and uh, Wichita State. Uh, Wichita State is a little, you know, the Shockers, they, they made some noise um, in the beginning of the year. Uh, I'm sorry, in the beginning of the uh, a couple years back. And I want to tell you that these guys, Arizona, again, in that uh, division that I was just talking about, um, the Pac-12, very, very good division, very uh, uh, good. I think Wichita State actually pulls this off. They have some really good quality wins um, that are impressive. And, you know, for an out-bracket team to beat a, um, what are they, a six seed? Is you know 11 beating a six is not crazy, but for an out bracket team to do it is pretty crazy. Uh, so I want to tell you that they, you know, in that in that uh, they did beat teams uh, in in the Pac-12. Uh, they beat Utah uh, for one. Utah's in second place and they beat them by three. So this is why I think that they can take on Arizona. Uh, you know, don't uh, please don't sleep on these guys. Wichita State is a very good team, and as we know, the Shockers have been known to, um, you know, make some surprises. Uh, they didn't do that well in the tournament. They lost to um, uh, Northern Iowa, and uh, but they beat Vanderbilt uh, in the in the actual tournament. So they got some quality wins. Uh, Northern Iowa is another little sleeper that I like, um, but I'm gonna say. Because Wichita State has potential to beat the big teams, and they are my little Cinderella team. I'm gonna, and I like Arizona a lot. I really do. Um, but Arizona is also a team that's like, you know, that you think that they were good. I think last year they were ranked two, uh, um, seeded two, and they just can't pull it through. I think Wichita State here is your sleeper pick of the South. All right, and I just wanted to go over those two teams in the South because uh, other than the first round, I think that's all you really got to worry about. Uh, Maryland's going to take over the Jackrabbits, no problem. California is going to deal with Hawaii. That's no, that's a no-brainer. Miami over Buffalo. I mean, come on, I don't even know what Buffalo is. Buffalo didn't even, just won the tournament. I think they're in third place in their division, uh, which is a crap, crap, crap division. Uh, so you know, Austin, Pe Kansas is obviously going to win that. So uh, as far as the South is concerned, uh, those are the two. Um, Oh, oh, I wanted to go over Iowa and Temple. Uh, I want to tell you that the Temple Owls, again, in that division with UConn, not so good. The Temple Owls didn't even win their, win their division. I mean, I mean, they, they won their division. They didn't win their tournament. And it's like on, on a tournament, I mean, with, with a division like that, you got to win that tournament. Um, so they're in, they're in a bad spot. And Iowa, uh, you know, I'm a Michigan State fan all the way, and they are a Big Ten team, and this team is third in the Big Ten and their strength of schedule was really good so I definitely want to pick Iowa over Temple if anybody's picking the Temple um, I'm sure it's only the people that actually went to Temple that are picking uh, Temple there actually 40 percent has Temple so uh, they they do have fans um, but I, I don't I don't think there's gonna be a, a lot past the first round and Temple is also a team that doesn't get very very far in these uh, playoffs but there you have it again it's twitch.tv slash Blanca 138 uh, I'll be back for more um, I'm going to do another one on the uh, West, then the East, then the Midwest, and then my final four. So stick it here, and um, you'll see everything. All right, guys? Thanks. Don't forget to leave a like if you like it.